Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you the improvements that we've made in HSM in Solid Camp 2011. If I was to open up my HSM operation, the first thing you'll note that there are only finishing operations that are in HSM. There are no roughing operations here. Now let's take our linear operation for example and you'll note that our facet tolerance is grayed out. That means it's calculated from a different point. We do not have to deal with the facet tolerance. If I were to go into my passes, you'll note that my default for regular tolerance over here is 0 0.01 when I'm working with wall offset and floor offset of 0. Now, if I were to change the tolerance that we have over here, say to 0 0.005 and go into my geometry, you'll note that this value over here has changed automatically because of the direct link between the fast tolerance and the tolerance that we have inside our passes. In other words, this now controls our fast tolerance by using a formula to calculate this. Another improvement we've made is with our apply fillets. In apply fillets, we have now basic and advanced. If I were to click on advanced and go into define, we'll note that we have all the options that we had have had up until now. However, if we go into our basic option, what we have here is our tool diameter and our corner radius only. In most cases, all they need to do is to put in the tool diameter and corner radius. So we've made it now a lot easier to do this. We do not have to go into that next field. If I were to change this, for example, to 16, you'll note that my corner radius is automatically updated as well. Of course, this can be changed if necessary. Now, when I do save and calculate, it first calculates the fillets, and then when it finishes calculating the fillets, it will then calculate the rest of the toolpath for this part. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.